Welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Paul Zalzal. And I'm Dr. Brad Weening. Dr. Weening, <laughs> nice to see you. Nice Under to the, see welcome you. to my bubble. Yes, yes, you like I, it? I am in your bubble and you are in mine. Hopefully you don't have any sharp objects uh, right. and uh, try not to touch the walls. That's right. They're very thin. Yes. So this is our first post-COVID uh, video uh, in person. Yeah, that we've actually filmed in person because we yes. did release one last week, uh, yes. but we filmed it before. But this is the first one we're filming in person. Okay, so well, what are we going to talk about today, Paul? Well, you know, since we're back in the hospital, we want to answer any questions that our viewers might have. And the main one would be, is it safe? For you to come back to the hospital to have elective surgery many centers are starting to ramp up the number of elective surgeries that they're doing and you may be at home wondering hey is it safe for me to go to the hospital to have my elective surgery and i'm operating today and when we were trying to deal with some of the backlog of cases phony people some people said oh i'd rather wait till it kind of settles down a little bit which which we understand but there are a bunch of reasons why we do feel that it is safe to go back to surgery. so um, first for me, Paul, is that there is a, a lot of testing for the patients, first of all. So you go through your normal pre-op testing, but then you also have COVID-19 testing, and then you're asked to actually isolate until you come for your surgery so that you don't bring it into the hospital with you. Yeah, yeah. So you, you will be, in most centers, you'll be COVID tested before you have surgery. And the two main reasons are, one, you're not bringing COVID into the hospital or into the operating room, and two, for your safety, because if you are uh, infected, uh, and asymptomatic but then have surgery that's an extra stress on your body the surgery and you may have a worse outcome with the infection if you have a surgical procedure or some other stress on your body so for your safety you don't want to have COVID before you have surgery and you don't want to bring it into the hospital and especially if it's an operation that can wait so obviously if it's an emergency and you have COVID then you just have to have the surgery yeah but if it's something like a hip or a knee replacement and we feel like you can wait then we'd yeah. rather have the COVID cured so that's the first number one is that people are being tested patients are being tested patient and, and number two the other reason why we think it's really safe uh, for you to come back at this point is because uh, the institution itself that you're having it in now you may be in a private setting where you're having it done at a surgery center that doesn't have any COVID patients or at a hospital that does have COVID patients the institutions themselves put systems and practices in place to protect and isolate people who do have COVID and keep them away from the rest of the population of the hospital Yes. Okay, so there are, if your center is saying, yeah, it's okay to do surgery, they have taken steps, measures, precautions, and looked at their um, situation and deemed that it is safe with their measures in place. So the place you're having it done more than likely is protecting uh, people who don't have COVID from people who do, and those patients are more in an isolated situation if they do have COVID. For example, here in Ontario, both the government and the hospital make the decision of whether or not they're going to resume elective surgery. So if there is an outbreak or a high number of cases in a certain hospital, they might reduce or stop elective surgery, um, whereas others that have low numbers are, are continuing to slowly proceed measuring capacity on an almost daily basis. Okay. Um, what's number three for you, Paul? Number three for me is <coughs> hospitals are, and the institutions are using have an enhanced use of PPE. Yes. Personal protective equipment. Much more than we used to use before, right? Like today was the first day in our uh, region where they said you absolutely have to wear a mask when you're indoors. It's a lot. Uh, so now, you know, in the hospital, we have to wear one all the time rather than just when we're in a surgical setting. Hence. Hence the masks, right? <laughs> um, so there are, there is enhanced use of PPE. PPE helps you, the patient, in two ways. One, uh, it protects you from the healthcare workers that might be carrying COVID and they don't know it, which is unlikely, but the, the mask protects you. And of course, if you do have COVID and you don't know it, it sort of keeps the COVID away from the hospital or tries to, right? It's not perfect. PPE is not perfect at preventing infection, but it is one extra step that, that people can take. Yeah, and the fourth one for me is the screening. Like every day that we come into work, we all go through the same well, there are multiple entrances, but there are screening staff there asking if you have any symptoms, if you've traveled outside the province, or if you work at another facility. And all those things are designed to reduce the risk of a worker bringing it into the hospital. Yeah, so screen just like uh, patients are screened when they come into the hospital, uh, the workers are screened as well to help prevent it. So, so in general, the risks of surgery generally still exist. Yeah. COVID is a slightly added risk. But at this point, um, I think we know enough about it and have implemented enough procedures 
to really minimize that risk to a safe level. Yeah, I agree. I think it is safe. And obviously, because I've been offering my patients who we had to cancel over the last several months, surgeries now that we're slowly ramping up, yep. very slowly ramping up, by the way, extremely slowly ramping up. Like uh, we're still canceling more surgeries than we're doing per week, but at least yeah. uh, we're, we're trying to minimize the amount of cancellations. Baby steps. Baby steps, right? Yes. So, hey, um, so just listen to your surgeon, do what you're told, proceed with caution, and, and obviously ultimately it's still your choice. So if you feel unsafe, yeah. then you should wait, especially if you're, you're able to. Absolutely, if, you, if you're worried or stressed, if it's gonna add an added level, if this video did not help you <laughs> alleviate any of your stress and you're still really worried about it, then just postpone, postpone. It, obviously there's gonna be a lot of people that wanna take your spot, so yes. don't stress out about that don't add the extra stress if this video made you feel better about it good we're happy if not we understand and your surgeon will understand if you don't feel ready to have that's a good point of course and if you like this video please like it subscribe to our channel and remember you are in charge of your own health we'll see you next time